Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. And this video, we are going to connect Node.js with MySQL database. So, this is my MySQL database, which has got the name node con. And inside this database, I have a table users. And if I run this query, select all from users, I see three records in here. Now, I'm going to write a program in my Node.js environment, which is going to fetch these users open npm package manager type mysql hit enter this is the first package that you have to open you open it in here this is your package the second one is sync hyphen sql you search that and this is the another package right and this package could as you could see you know integrate with mysql and postgres and this is synchronous okay now this asynchronous package we are going to use in express so we are also going to create uh, an api which is going to fetch the data from the mysql database and also going to post data into it now the other package is synchronous and why we are doing this because if you read this line sync SQL is designed to make synchronous queries to the database. It has been developed as a tool to help Nightwatch.js test. So basically, it's not limited to just Nightwatch.js. In testing, what we do is, you know, we perform certain action, and that action posts some data into the database. Now, the last step of our test is to go into the database and check whether the data has been inserted properly or not. So there is kind of, you know, some synchronization in testing and to achieve that synchronization, we have to go for this particular package. All right. So, of course, uh, there are three dependencies that you have to download. Let me open my package or JSON. So you have to download Express. Uh, with the help of Express, we are going to create APIs. Then you need MySQL and Sync-SQL. So I've already done that in the interest of time. All right, so the first package is asynchronous and we have to import the package in this file. Next step is we have to define the configurations that we are going to use to connect with our MySQL database. So for example, you have to provide in the host. In my case, this MySQL server is running on my local host. So the host is this. It's running on port number this. Username and passwords are root only and the database is node hyphen con first step is we have to create the connection instance and you have to imagine it like this so you have the sql client you launch it you provide in the host username and password but you don't hit the send button so all this process is called okay you are ready to create the connection all right so the same thing we have to do in here so in here we are going to uh, run two type of queries select and then insert okay so let's create the connection instance first and to do so we say let con is equal to now we make use of this mysql and we say create connection and you can also create pool but in this case uh, we are only going to create connection but if you require a pool of connection then go for the pool right so now inside this you have to provide in the configuration as you could see it is asking for the connection uri string which should be of connection config so we have already defined everything in here so we are just going to take a copy of this okay now this is the query that we want to run and we saw that uh, in here as well all right so this is the query that we want to execute from our code but now uh, we have got access to the connection uh, instance. Now we have to connect to the database. And for that, we have to say con.connect. This is going to connect with your database and it accepts a callback, right? It's optional, right? But let's pass in the callback. And as you could see, it has one argument error. So we just write the callback. Now the advantage of using that is you can uh, ensure that okay your connection is established properly so we just say if there is an error so just console log out that error and let's just error, log out the message of it okay else we say 
connected okay so let us save this and run and to run it we have to say node and we have to give the name of the file and the name of the file is this so hit enter we get connected okay so we are able to connect if i provide in something else some wrong configuration and then run it we get the error message okay and you could see so the get address info e not found localhost one so yes uh, that is working so let me save this and the next step is we have to write our query and now to write the query you just have to say con dot query and now in here you could see you can pass in your query the other version is you can pass in the query and the callback and then there is one more when you can say okay you are passing in the query and there is some values and then the callback okay All right so uh, we are going to in this particular case we are going to pass in the query and going to make use of the callback in the next example in case of post we are also going to make use of these values right so what is my query so my query is this okay so this is my query and then i have this callback now let us write this callback and this callback has these two arguments error and result okay so let me just uh, give it the name result and if i just hit enter again there is one more in here which is fields but we just uh, are interested in these two so again we say if there is an error just log that out okay else log out what log out result so in here we just say result okay so let me save this and the last step is we have to close the connection and to close the connection we have two methods we can say uh, end this particular uh, connection which is a graceful way you can also destroy the connection okay so close the connection any queued data will be sent first if there are any fatal error the connection will be immediately closed the other one is destroy let us look at that as well so when we say this and hover over, close the connection immediately without waiting for any queued data to be sent. Okay, so let's use the end one. Okay, let me save this, run this file now. Okay, so you see we get our result back. So we have ID one John Day and we have these three records. Great, right? So uh, let us do one thing. So I'm just going to comment step four, step three and step two i leave the step one as it is because we are just uh, you know creating an instance of it and now i'm going to use the this connection for this and this is the post query now in here you see uh, this is how we post data so insert into user set first name is equal to question mark and then last name is equal to question mark and email is equal to question mark so, th so this is a kind of prepared statement so now uh, we are going to do the same uh, earlier what we did was you know we wrote all of these separately like you know we said uh, we're going to connect and then we said query and then we end it now you can also set error else right so you just you know uh, start with this con dot query part so you don't write it outside this connect all right and make sense as well if the connection is established then execute this query okay so we are just doing that uh, we are saying con dot query uh, we are passing the first parameter is of course what our uh, query second is the value now in here we have passed in question mark right the advantage of that is now you can pass all these values in the form of array right so sam will be assigned to this first question mark mule would be assigned to this second question mark and this email would be assigned to the third question mark that's how you can uh, make your query more readable all right and then again uh, it's pretty much the same error and result and then you know we are uh, closing the connection once we get the result back and then we are just you know logging that out right it's it's that simple so now if, when i run this there would be a fourth record created in the database okay let me execute that okay and in here it is telling me the id of the newly created record okay so uh there are few things in here if you just you know delete this then you'll come across an object right and in that you know uh, you can have how many rows are affected right so affected rows is another property i just use this insert id this is going to return me the id of the newly created record all right so yeah let's go back click on this and yes i mean this record is being entered it here 
now this particular uh, way of uh, you know asynchronous way of working with database is useful when we start defining apis or when we're building an application so let's see i mean so i'm making use of uh, express now what i can do is you know uh, this is how i can create my endpoint so i have created two endpoints get and post and this is, this particular server is running on port number 3000 all right and if i just uh, open this in here so you see this is pretty much the same code all right so we are doing pretty much the same thing in here as well so we are and this is not not the way i mean developers do that just is just to you know uh, explain you that yes i mean they use some kind of orm and behind the scene that orm is also doing the same thing i mean this is uh, just to keep it simple uh, the only change that i have made is that earlier we were just you know uh, logging out the record to the console but in here i'm saying that okay hey uh, you know just set the status uh, of the http response to 200 and uh, send the json response okay now what you can do is you can go to the postman so this is our endpoint okay i hit enter and in here now you see those four records right and then you can also uh, post the data so this is my data all right so when i post it uh, i'll see five in here all right so let me just uh, hit send and you see a new record is created let us go back to my sql server and you could see the new record is being added all right so that's how uh, this is where we have to use the asynchronous version of it our in testing we are dependent on the synchronous version so again synchronous version is even simpler so you just import the package sync sql configuration remains the same uh, this is your query all right and now this is the only line of code that you have to write so you just have to right uh, use this and this is the method mysql the first parameter that you have to pass is the configuration and second parameter would be your query and if you just run this now so let me just run uh, this once so we have to say node and the name of the file is sync okay let me hit enter so we see this right we get data and inside that we have rows and fields so my data is uh, inside this uh, rows array right so if i just say, say data and then i have to say rows if i do this much okay and run it all right so now you see i see my data in the proper format you can do the same in here as well and then you all you get is your records all right like that all right so now how can you test it you you know post uh, data from your ui all right and then you just use this library write this function and check that you know the data has been posted to your database or not and that way is you know even when you're doing the automation testing you can ensure that you know whatever steps that manual testers follow you know they post things go into the database and check it's it's, it's there or not you can also do that right and you can create your function as well right pretty simple right so uh, if we have to just create a function of this all we have to say is function uh, get db uh, let's say data right and you just return the result okay so we just return the result right and what do we have to do then so we just say okay provide me the config okay so provide me the config this is number one thing right then provide me the query Okay, like this and then you just say return this okay so you come in here and you say it like this right so our function is ready and if I just invoke this function okay so let me just comment this out so this is going to return me something so I'm just going to store that into let uh, res is equal to result and what do I have to pass I have to pass this config okay and i have to pass in this query like that okay and i just have to log out response okay so now let me just uh, comment this out as well okay so in here we have this config then we have this query and we have our function in that function we are passing in the config and the query uh, we get our response back we store that in a variable and we are simply logging it there you go so all right so you get your response in here okay so this is how we can connect our node.js program with mysql
I hope you like this. Thank you so much.